So that abrupt end was kind of not fun, but whatever. We're back. Hopefully, hopefully it stays. You know, the internet won't die out. I was able to pause the cutscene. It's just a girl. You're right. That's Micah. It pains me to say it, Arthur, but he's right. Hutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. That all take my Jack, money? And you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. It's a piece of shit. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. Well, we wouldn't have burned your place down, maybe. And even this maybe. bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. To give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. I was gonna see who Jenny was. <laughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. You done good, girl. <laughs> Didn't mean to hit the button to compliment my horse. That just sounded awkward because it sounded like I said it to her. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Hey, do you have a wrap up? No, that's just a stop. I'm gonna buy a horse with all my weaponry on it How that I didn't feeling? grab. I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like Don't call me honey. the lighthouse Don't or try something. to use your feminine and cover me. Willie's on me. Please. Okay. Like at this point, I'm good as a sniper. Get. Not really. I'm a terrible sniper. Arthur! We'll make for the sniping position because he is sick. Maybe I'll just live here for now. Where I live. 
They'll never expect me to live in a lighthouse. This camera keep oh god, I thought I was jumping off. It's like the camera couldn't turn or keep up. Okay, Mr. Milton. Where are you? There you are, you bastard. The scope doesn't really see very far. Oh boy, this is not gonna go well with me. Guys. I missed two standing targets, by the way. <laughs> I, I have such a, like, twitch to everything. Wouldn't be that bad if you didn't bring a shotgun to this fight. Anything else? Dude, I can't see shit with this scope. There, he's like right in front of me. I'm fucking blind with this thing. Could have shot, I think. <laughs> okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. <laughs> now I'm in the fray. Morgan. Well, oh, like a couple of fellows, I want to see my express rounds. Oh, my one gun could use a little maintaining, but. Um, this isn't the time.
landing on him. He's just standing there, firing. Ah! See, you're dead now. <laughs> My though. Just chugging tonics left and right, going after you guys. of everything. I thought he had a knife. I was like, probably would have been better to go for the one almost about to slit her throat. Ladies, let's get out of here. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy oh, ever I since. I kind of fucking figured. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Well, there's that guy goes. Man. <laughs> hey, this is my knife. I can tell by the engravings, all that crap. Now come on, both of you. Oh, I'm a monster. I killed the horse again. Get on, Arthur. Get on. Yep, yep. Hope you take care of Salty Mare. I get shot and I can't even fight. In my hands, but not really in my hands. Nowhere for you to run to. You all right, Abigail? I think so. Fucking guy, die. Get out of here. That guy who signs it is dead. You give up now. You're not getting any money. Is it really worth it? Oh my 
gun's conditions are wearing out just you like myself. No. Oh, wait a second. to John. Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Come on, get the fuck down. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or what? he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I don't want to touch it. It's got germs. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. I always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> The old hat. Yeah. The many miles we walk. The many things we learn. The building of a shrine. I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. in this world, that's for sure. Mary's a 
sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> God damn it. Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Bill, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Damn it! Move! Damn you ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! Did I shoot them. Not really, there is no... Actually, there is an escape place in this cave. I saw a ladder. There is a ladder somewhere we can climb out of. Come on, Arthur! With me! 
Oh no, John, I'm kind of deteriorating here. I'm with you, keep going. Arthur, you go up first. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Don't look back. Pinkerton's in the trees ahead. Look out. Uh, it's so foggy, I don't think I can shoot. That's good. Give the horse the stimulant. Christ, that's hard up. Dismount and put your hands. Someone threw a coin in a bucket. Shit, they're on the road. Oh, follow me. I started doing There's something, Marcy. These sons of bitches. Oh, we did kill one of their big fucking uh, agents. Not surprised at the pretty fish. Pinkerton's on the left. Go keep the others busy. Down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I don't need the money. Look at my health. There's like, there's no point at this point you. for the money. What am I gonna do? This bullshit. It's nothing it's for revenge. We I don't do. need revenge. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. We need Fucking horse. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Shit. <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Here. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. I, I'm deteriorating a lot faster now. Get behind a rock! God damn it! They're everywhere! Get out! You lost the trigger or something? Oh, 
right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn it, Micah. I got you now, Black Lung. You rat. You rat. I'm a survivor, Black Lung. A survivor. That's all there is. Living and dying. Oh. Rich coming from the fucking rat. You scum, Micah. I'm not throwing him backwards. I'm like trying to see if I either gotta get him to the edge and throw him out or what. Or just keep beating the living shit out of him. Done, I'm gonna kill Marston too. 
Milton told me. You've lost. What the fuck? How's on the ground? All there is winning and losing. That's a rusty ass revolver, if that's mine, I think it is, too. Oh, Black Lung. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Man, Marker. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. It's over now. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I'm dead. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! song that we heard earlier but in a different I think variant Thank you. 
some years later. The wheel. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know. Of the round table? The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Kind of wish it didn't go right to the years after. I kind of want to see like John setting everything up first, and then, you know, the years later. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or. Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me yeah, Eleven dollars to my name. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. I don't even have a gun to my name. It's about O'Reilly working in a kitchen. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but. Uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, yeah, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. My boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. I don't trust your boys at all. Nor do I trust my wagon staying in one spot. Hey! 
Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I, I fucking hate you. <laughs> You're like an asshole about it. Okay, Jack, Jesus. I already, like, I mean, I already hated Jack in the future, but Jesus, he's already a piece of shit. Good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Yetis don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Do the best I can. I just, like I said, wish I didn't like jump West years in the future, yeah. but the road I'll, uh, you know, take okay. what I can get, but. I still haven't recovered. It's just really, really sad and everything that happened. But at least Arthur kind of looked like he got some peace at the end of it. He did as good that he wanted and then drifted off. And at least Dutch kind of made one final smart decision to get away from Micah, but the damage was already done for the gang and everybody else. Now I just wonder what happened to Sadie and everybody else that, you know, Tilly and stuff that got away. I wonder what happened to them. I don't have a gun now. If I get robbed, I'm fucked. North. He doesn't have a gun. I wonder what happened to it. It's a nice, peaceful ride. a lot of everything that happened. It was crazy, though. Maybe they'll show flashbacks or something. I don't know, but I wanted to see, like, all the falling out of everything. That. This is, like, years later. I don't know how many, but it's, like, years after all that had happened. Oh, well, I have a friend, and it's falling. Fuck, I got caught. Like, he's on my car, he's like, hello there! Oh, it's dead now. This must be it. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, 
It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Huh. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. All right. Go easy on him. All right, do the best I can. I don't really have a gun anyway, so I mean. Hey, hey, that's my damn wagon. Get up! You want your wagon back, huh? Yeah, I do. This one's got a stone in his boot. I mean, get the fuck out of here. Tell Gaddy to take that offer off Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more. I was ready to punch some ass. <laughs> so I hope they're running the other way, because that'd be awkward if we were just heading in the same direction after that. For Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got. We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. And the home's a home for right now. Epilogue Part 1, Froghorn Ranch. God, Marston, you are really thin. Variable in a tumbleweed and black water. I guess we can just go to black water. Where are we on the map anyway? We're up there. I guess we can go anywhere now. I like how I could come back here and do that mission, but I'm not gonna be Arthur. Huh. Be random. Did I change my clothes at all? Am I stuck in these clothes for right now? I want to change. I 
wonder if you wrote anything in this journal. Being back in this country has made me dig up Arthur's old journal again. Odd few years wandering now back here. This country that we ran to when things went crazy all those years ago. My mind's full of ghosts. Been a tough few years. Jack doesn't don't like me and Abigail can't stand me. Or is it reverse? Kill the fellow because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down. To what? Everything I've tried has gone wrong for so long. Now I'm back in old country. Well, I guess the north didn't s turn out so good. So it looks like they left and we're coming back. Wonder if there's anything in these treasure maps. <laughs> probably not. There probably is, but terrible at it. There's a shaving kit. We need to trim. I was like, what am I doing? Oh, God. What? What, what hair does he have that it's like, dude, the prom... Oh, I didn't mean to do it, but now his hair is all down. It looks fucking terrible. Well, at least he can grow his facial hair if I wanted to. I like his hair growing out for right now. We're probably not going to have him go nuts. He's, he doesn't have any reason to be a, a huge bum yet, anyway. Let's... Hey, this is my fast travel map. Well. A lot of things to digest after all that, but uh, I think that is where I'll be wrapping it up for right now. I don't think I'll be able to... I wonder if I'll be able to freely explore. I think I can for a little bit, but I'm not sure, because we still got stuff to do. Um, We have to do stuff for Tom Dickens. But I do appreciate everybody hanging out and all that.